we are having a workshop today. Um, Katie Meckler from the New Jersey Watershed Ambassador Program is here talking to us about how to make your own body care products. Um, she is demoing how to make a um, dry shampoo out of lavender essential oil and arrowroot powder. And she's also demoing how to make a body scrub with no microbeads in it so it's safe uh, for the environment. And she talks a lot about that um, as well while she's demoing it. Um, the body care product is an orange honey um, body scrub. So I'm going to let you take a listen to uh, what's going on with her because um, she's here demoing. If you aren't able to be here or if you are participating and you're watching this when you get home and you just need a refresher on how to make the products, this is your video. Sugar is nice to use because it's a natural humectant, so it draws moisture from the environment and into your skin. And it also um, breaks down that bond that, that skin cells have, which promotes new skin cell growth. And it also exfoliates, so it gets rid of those dead surfaces, um, surface skin cells, without creating those scratches that a microplastic bead uh, would use. And then sunflower oil has vitamin E, A, C, and D, which acts as a so that's always really good for the skin. It's an anti-inflammatory, and it also absorbs easily. I use sunflower oil for my face, actually. So I use, but I don't use any lotion on my face. I just use oil. And some people, you know, it depends on your skin type, but um, oil absorbs easily into your skin and actually removes excess oil because of the I like to use it at the end of my shower, so after you wash your body, I use it in the shower, so it um, kind of like serves as a lotion almost too, so I, don't, I wash it off a little bit, but then it still leaves a little bit on my skin. And you don't really need a lot. I usually, usually use like one tablespoon a leg, that's kind of how I think of it. And um, like I said, you can use it on your body or your hands after washing, so you can put it by the sink and you can use it after. Um, and I wouldn't recommend using because sugar crystals tend to be a little bit rough on your skin, but um, they won't cause like scrapes in your skin like the microbeads will, but it just, it's a little rough depending on your skin. Uh, salt is a good substitute instead of sugar on your face. And then uh, this, it really won't go bad. You can store it in the fridge if you want, but it makes it really hard. So I just like to store it kind of in a cupboard um, with a closed top so ants don't get in there. moisturizes your scalp, but it also helps absorb oil. So that's that's really good if you need. Um, you know, it's 
not in place of your shampoo, but it's um, a supplement. Like if you want to go a couple days, like three days without washing your hair um, to conserve water, uh, you can use it um, in between those days that you're not washing your hair. Also, calcium in the arrowroot powder maintains the acid level of your skin. So it's kind of like a pH balancer. And then I found during my research that actually it has vitamin B12, which helps with cell synthesis and cell division. So just a little science part of that. And then lavender um, helps alleviate headaches, so it's kind of nice if you put the arrowroot powder and this combined near your head, so it can get rid of your headaches and reduces anxiety and emotional stress. But it also restores uh, skin complexion and improves eczema and psoriasis. And I actually have a really big problem with this in my scalp. I have a little bit of psoriasis on my scalp, and I use lavender oil with the arrowroot powder, and it helps get rid of those um, oils from the eczema, but also like moisturizes them. So lavender pairs with that really nicely. And that's also why I kind of got into this work, because I, I was having those skin problems, and um, I had acne, and I just wanted to do something new, and natural products really helped. So this is kind of how to use it. Like I said, I have a video that you can refer to. Um, it's kind of lengthy, but you can read through this um, on your own time. Basically, you want to use like a, a bronzer brush and kind of just dip a little bit in the in your container. Tap it on the top so not you don't have too much. I like to tip my whole head upside down and then kind of brush it in there. Um, you really don't need a lot. And then you want to use it on your roots. Is where you want to use it. Um, storage purposes. You, this lasts like two to three years. That's what they say on the, <laughs> the label. But uh, it really doesn't go bad and unless you get water in it. Then it may get a little chunky. But um, and you can store it in your fridge too. Oh, so back <laughs> into farms. We made a lemon and yogurt cooling mask. But today we're only making two things. But here's an ingredient, you know, when you go back in the PowerPoint and you want to use that. <laughs> um, so yeah, so we're going to make products now. And so I have the ingredients um, and step-by-step step on the table. And we'll kind of start with one half doing the uh, dry shampoo and the other half doing the scrub. And then we'll kind of just rotate. So let's do... <laughs> Other charge, yeah, because you need to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, no. I think she's going to stack them. Yeah. Oh, okay. Otherwise, it's going to be a system. I was just afraid it was going to burst yeah. over. Yeah. I didn't want to. You know what? I'm going about it a different way. Thank you. It is the lavender dry shampoo, and basically it just is a two-step process. You're wanna, gonna want to get a um, glass jar of some kind. We're using ball jars; they're very inexpensive um, and very reusable, so earth-friendly. Um, the first step is to add two tablespoons of arrowroot powder to the jar, and with each two tablespoons of the arrowroot powder, you're going to want to use two to three drops of the lavender essential oil. So that is the ratio. If you want to make more of the dry shampoo at, at once, um, you would just use this calculation to do so. But this um, makes for a great uh, dry shampoo. You simply just shake of it onto the um, roots of your hair, onto your scalp, and um, massage it in and basically helps prolong um, you, the cleanliness of your hair and absorb some of the oil so you can do that in between washes with shampoo. And this way it's good for the environment because you aren't using an aerosol can of any kind. So again, this is Katie from, um, I'm not Katie, I'm Jenna, but Katie uh, from the New Jersey Watershed um, ambassador program is here teaching us how to make products. So this is just one of them. I'm going to grab the other one now to give you a, a, a little taste of how to do that. <laughs> I know. I'm just going to swap this out, borrow this one really quick. Excuse me. So this one is the orange and honey body scrub. Again, you're going to use a ball jar or glass jar of some sort. And um, this you could use um, all over your body uh, when you're in the shower, maybe two times a week or so. It's going to exfoliate your skin, so get rid of the um, dry and dead skin cells and help your skin um, naturally renew itself. Um, it's made with, as you can see, basically, except for the essential oil, it's an edible product, so that's how clean it is. Um, basically the steps are outlined here but you're going to use half a cup of brown sugar and then a quarter cup of sunflower oil. We're using a local variety here 
um, from Sunburst Acres. Here's the product. Awesome product. Great to choose local products again because we're um, helping the environment um, by cutting down on the um, gasoline and fumes and things that come along with um, the shipping of product um, from afar to wherever you are. So always good to shop local when you can. And then you're going to add two small squirts of raw honey and three to four drops of sweet orange essential oil. I didn't bring the honey over here. We're using from Tissot Apiaries, which is a local um, honey. So, um, but you could choose. There's a, a lot of different um, honey companies around here. Um, lots of beekeepers, which is like what we like to hear. Um, and then, like I said, you're going to add those three to five drops of sweet orange essential oil. And this is so fragrant and delicious smelling. And it's almost like you want to eat it. Um, you just put the jar in your uh, bath bathtub or in your bathroom and use it two to three times a week. This amount should work for a couple of uses. There you go. Sorry about that. Oh, thanks. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Our yeah, it's so helpful because yeah. people want to see how to make everything online. Is there any so I just shared the recipe with everybody. And I was thinking okay. about just letting them know. Um, I mean, sorry, with the, the recipes here, how long do you think the application is going to be Like how many yeah. applications I've already got? Did you put a half cup of one tablespoon for lunch? See, mine is yours. That was a whole half cup. Yeah, you can put some sunflower oil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was good. Oh, there. Keep looking for it. Yeah, yeah. I leveled it off. So do you have a cup and look at all that? Here, and now, here's your sunflower oil. I smell really good to have my other daughters. So it looks like everybody's having a really good time here. Um, I'm going to let them, you know, finish up, um, but want to thank everybody who's tuned in and know that you can always come back to this video. It will remain on our Facebook page. If ever you want uh, the recipes, we'll post them as well, but they will be in this video recording um, so that you can make them whenever you want. And if you have any questions about the products, please make a comment below. Um, we can put you in touch with Katie um, or anybody from the store here who would be really happy to help you. Um, select the ingredients to make these products yourselves or if you have any questions about them. So thanks for joining. Hope you have a good evening. Bye-bye.